Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let's take our seats and thank you very much. Bishop and your dear wife and family, the new breed city church. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God is good and all the time. Thank you very much. I want to thank my friend Dumbi for facilitating uh, our coming to this church today. And uh, let me say that I am truly, truly blessed to be in your EDS. As a Christian, I have been to many churches. But this one is special. I have, <laughs> I have gone to this church where congregants help the bishop to preach. This yep. is a new level. Oh yeah. Let this your church. Yeah. Hey. This is your church. This is your church. I am out to be here this morning. And my coming church has been long in coming. But I thank God that it has happened today. <laughs> Halfway through the sermon bishop. I almost woke up to go home because I thought I have found what I came to do. And you spoke to my heart in a very special way. So I want to say to the members of this church, although we came here for Jenga Hekaru, but we found more than Jenga and Jenga. We have found what the Word of God preached to us in a special way. You people are truly blessed to have this man as your teacher. Thank you. I have uh, come here to join you in this great effort to build a sanctuary for this church and we come here not so much as leaders but yet as Christians. I want to thank you, Bishop and Christians, that you have continuously with season prayed for our country and for us. We have, as you said, about nine years ago now, almost ten years. We were in ruin, and we knelt down, and you and other bishops prayed for us. I want to testify of God's faithfulness all around. We have done many things. We have rolled out many projects. Some of them, even me as deputy president, I am surprised how we have managed to achieve. And it has taken the hand of God to bring Kenya to where it is today. Hear it from me. Yeah? Not from a third party. 
hear it from me. The achievements we've made from building the railway to 10,000 kilometers of tarmac to 8 million people connected to electricity to 140 million technical training. It has taken the hand of God. It's not because we have more money, it's not because we were more intelligent, it is God's favor and faithfulness that has made us achieve the generation. And that is why we are unashamed. We are unashamed. We are unapologetic about our faith in God. Listen to me. Yes, we are unashamed of our faith in God. Amen. Many things have been said about us. We have gone through many accusations. We have accused in the manner in which we go to church. Some people have a problem with how we worship. Some people have a problem about how often we go to church. Others have accused us of carrying money in sacks to church. But we will not stop. We are looking for the day when we will not be taking thousands, yeah. when we will not be taking millions, yeah. we are looking for the day when we will take billions to yeah. And I want to ask our friends to understand us. Please. We were not people, were it not for God. We didn't have Godfathers. We only have God the Father. So, please understand us. And allow us to worship God the way we feel we should. Are we together? Yes. <laughs> so I want to tell you that God is going to give the next government that is going to respect the church. Listen to me. The book of Acts, chapter 20, and verse 32, and verse 35. Paul reminds us that through his labor, he reminds us to remember the week. When you hear me, and my team talk about bottom up. We are speaking the language of the Bible. Do you understand me? Listen. Psalms 113, verses 7 and 8. The Bible tells us. And let me say this in Kiswahili. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Do you need another explanation of bottom up? God will lead people from below. And they will keep them with peace and peace. That's what we are saying. So, Bishop and your great church, we come here as your friends and as Christians, and we will walk with you this journey until this economy is done. We will walk with you. We will walk with you. So, I do not wish to say more than that. I am truly blessed to be in your midst. Uh, count on us to work with you, to walk all this journey until we are done with your sanctuary. I am told um, it will be, did you say restaurant? Or yes. a restaurant. And, and, and plus and plus and plus. And uh, myself and my team will come here um, to fellowship with you and to work with you and to tell you that we will walk this journey with you even as you walk with us in the leadership of our nation. Yes, I want to tell you that God is in control. We will have a wonderful time. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a peaceful moment. Yeah. And God will help us choose the leaders after his own heart. So, I put a one on my So, relax. Uh, God is in control. So, uh, there are many naysayers. There are many people who are predicting all manner of things, but we want to tell them that we believe in a living God. Yeah. And Kenya is in safe hands. Yeah. Um, so we 